I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the anti-lock braking system or ABS control module on a Chrysler Crossfire or many Mercedes-Benz like the SL, SLK, C-Class, CLK, W203, W210 and more. Usually you'll have code C1001 indicating a defective control module. Over time the circuit board gets bad and unfortunately needs to be swapped out. The control module is located by the engine area to the right, and there are three components. The circular ABS motor, the middle piece being the gray hydraulic block, and the piece we are going after, which is the brains, or in this case, the control module. This is the problem and what causes the fault codes to illuminate and for the ESP or traction control to not work. These are all the tools and supplies you need. I'll put all of these in the description below. Also, before swapping this out, check out the other two videos on quickly cleaning the electrical connector or doing a deeper clean. That way you'll save money and may not even need to swap out this unit because it just might be dirty. However, if you exhausted all other options, then get ready to change this. Before we start, please subscribe and you'll continue to learn some of the best ways to fix your car. No mechanic or stealership required. And if you could please indicate which method fixed your problem in the comments below, this will really help out a lot of viewers out. Anyway, let's start with what seems like the hard part, the control module. There will be three or four e-torx bolts that need to be removed. Now in many models, this control module is in the front and is easy to get off. But in this car, it's in the back and looks difficult to get these bolts out. But you'll see, it's not as hard as it seems. You just gotta be creative. So first, open up and take off the fuse panel cover. You need as much space as possible. So, because there are external threaded bolts and the head protrudes, it's a little easier to put a socket on and get a good grip, in my opinion. So grab a pliers and an E5 external Torx bolt as a regular ratchet wrench can fit in this tight space. The goal is to just barely loosen or crack loose the bolt on the bottom. Then just use your fingers to loosen the screw. The bottom bolt can't come out right now, but it will later. You'll see. Now, thankfully, the top bolts are easy to remove and you can use a regular quarter inch ratchet with the E5 socket. Next, you'll see this black cap on top it's really the connector that plugs into the control module. Anyway, grab it and start wiggling it up until the top is up. Now, I'm going to remove the back cover. But, however, this is not necessary to remove unless you want to inspect for a cut wire. Anyway, start pulling this connector off the control module. Notice my hand are pulling from the top and then the bottom. I'm going back and forth slowly removing and pulling the connector off. So, if your connector or replacement ABS control module looks dirty, then you can clean it first. And as mentioned earlier, I'll put both those videos on doing a quick clean or deeper clean in the description below for easy reference. Moving back to the controller module or ABS computer, really, grab a hold of it and pull it till it touches the fuse box. Now you'll see these circular tubes, which are the solenoids. Anyway, best way to remove the module is to pull back the hydraulic block lightly and maneuver the rectangular piece towards the engine area. Once the ABS module is past the fuse box, grab the bottom screw as you angle or maneuver this out. So when replacing, make sure your replacement has the exact same model number as shown on the top right here. Also, very important, if you get it used and not brand new, then you'll save money and won't have to get it programmed at a dealer. Also, I should mention, make sure the replacement module is clean as well as your solar on the hydraulic block looks clean. If these are dirty, like the connector, then you might as well quickly clean this at the same time. I have a separate video on cleaning this. You can check that out in the description below. So if this has helped so far, please like and subscribe. Now to install. First, 
put the bolt in on the bottom and then feed the control unit exactly the same way you took it out previously. Pull the gray hydraulic block towards you slightly and line up the control module in place. Then push it together so it feels tight. Now put both the top bolts on and tighten the bottom bolt. You do not need to use a pliers. It should be tight enough with your fingers. Now use a quarter inch ratchet with the E5 Torx socket and tighten them, but don't over tighten. It should feel snug. Put the fuse panel cover back on, grab the connector and line it up and then push it into place. Once it feels like it's in, push down on the top of the connector. As you do that, it also brings in the connector a little bit. This is what gives it a tight connection. Put the back cover back on if you previously removed it. Looks great. Now grab your OBD scan tool as you might have to delete any stored codes if they don't go away after you drive away. In other words, you need to reset the brains or computer in this case, that being the ABS control module. So let's do it. And you'll hear my reaction after having this code on for about five years now. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's not on anymore. Wow. Wow. That did it. Oh my god. What a relief. Oh, just annoying. I didn't even have to scan it yet. Wow. What a nice feeling. Finally off. Look at that. Hit the button. On. Off. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is great. Five years. If this video helped, please like and subscribe. Check out some other videos I've made. They're all great hacks or tricks and tips on how to fix your car yourself. Thanks for watching, and I hope this solves your problem. No more lies. Yeah. Okay, let's read the codes. Now, this control module came from another car. And now that I reset all the codes, it just passed. There we go. Cool.